Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Principal Reem Abdul Razak here to share with you our plans for the new school year, keeping our children learning. Bismillah. We are all adapting to a changing world, so our school team has been working hard to keep on teaching and inshallah make our children successful. We have been exploring new ways for our students to learn in our changing world, plus researching and implementing the best ways of keeping our children safe. And there are ways you can help too. First, let's look at new ways to learn. We are looking at school in phases in response to government guidelines and health statistics which are subject to change. First, normal school. If we can safely have school as we have always done, we will, but given the current pandemic, we have two alternate plans in place. The hybrid model allows for both on-campus and off-campus learning. For the parents who feel comfortable sending their children to school, with strict safety guidelines in place, students would be separated into a morning or afternoon shift Monday through Thursday with a daily schedule, plus a school at home day on Friday. For the parents who do not feel comfortable sending their children to school, students would have an at-home program Monday through Thursday with an opportunity to meet with their teachers as needed one-on-one -on -one every Friday. If, God forbid, the health situation requires that campus be completely shut down, we would move to remote, off-campus learning for all students. So, how are we keeping your children safe? We've been researching and implementing CDC guidelines, as well as working with medical professionals to follow best practices and update to a strict illness policy with expanded cleaning on campus during the day. We have safety measures in place for classrooms, students, and adults. In the classroom, we are requiring more space between fewer students with regular hand washing scheduled and classroom cleanup times. For adults, we will screen our staff daily. Staff will be in protective gear and no parents will be allowed into the building to reduce exposure to our staff and students. Finally, we will continue training for both staff and families around best practices for health and hygiene as well as schooling from home. For students, we will have screenings daily before exiting their car with specific drop-off times and zones for families to reduce congestion and exposure. Students will go straight to their classroom to avoid congregations. They will be required to wear protective gear after a certain age, and we will have regular hand washing and best hygiene practices implemented throughout the day. So, how can you help? First, please pray for the safety of our community, our country, and our world, and the success of our school year. Second, as we continue to fine-tune our plans, we welcome your feedback toward creating the best and safest learning environment for our students. As mentioned, we plan to roll out school in phases based on government and health guidelines to keep this as flexible and functional for our staff and families as possible. We hope to host a pilot for a select grade of students in late July to ensure the logistics of our hybrid model. Phases two and three are in eight week increments and will be adjusted as needed to meet the needs of our students in the safe way. If you have any questions about admissions, please reach out and let us know. We will also be contacting parents to confirm preferences regarding the hybrid model. Just as an update, we've maintained the same tuition rate as last year. We understand how challenging these times are. We know the world will keep on changing, but we promise to keep our children learning, inshallah. Jazakumullahu khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.